Alright you guys, got another video here for you. Windows 10 users forced to upgrade to Windows 11. So what's going on? It seems that Microsoft have upped their campaign to try to trick people or force people into upgrading to Windows 11 from Windows 10. Now this message you're seeing on the screen right here, which is one of a bunch of different messages that are going to be bombarding your computer to either trick you or lure you into uh, upgrading to Windows 11. You can see here, restart to stay up to date. Your version of Windows 10 will soon reach an end of service. Restart to install your new version. You can pick a time, you can restart tonight, or restart now. Now this particular message is talking about the end of service of your Windows 10 version. So if you're using an old version of Windows 10, it means it's coming to an end and they want you to roll out an update to a newer version. Now be very, very careful here because if you've got a super old version and you start to roll out an update to a newer version of Windows 10, you can end up with a problem because this is a feature upgrade and it's going to roll out an upgrade to the very latest version of Windows 10. Now that's okay, but if you're jumping from a really old version of Windows 10, this can cause major problems when jumping from a really old version to the very latest version of Windows 10. So be very careful. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be using this message and method to get you to upgrade to Windows 11 a bit further down the line when it gets closer to the end of life of Windows 10. So just remind yourself and favorite this video because this can happen and you can end up upgrading uh, to Windows 11. So this message is about upgrading your version of Windows 10 to the latest version of Windows 10 because the version you're using is getting outdated and it's becoming to end of life. So if we look here at the Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro lifecycle policy, you can see here that it gives you information about the versions and when their start date is and when their end date is. So right here, if you come down, if you're using an old version, you may be uh, needing to upgrade because these versions all the way down here have literally stopped. So 2004, and you can see here, it ends on December 14th, 2021. And then version 20H2, that started in October 20, 2020, and May 10th, 2022 is when that ends and you will be then forced to upgrade to the next version, which is 21H1. But when you get that message, it's going to probably jump you all the way to the very latest version, which is this version here. And if you don't want to go on that version, then you can physically download that update for uh, that version here. So be very careful uh, when you're clicking on things, because things can go wrong, especially if you've got a really old, outdated version it, I've seen people trying to jump and it ends up with major problems because this is basically a feature upgrade and it can cause problems. So back up your data before you do any of these updates. To check the version of Windows that you've got on your system, you can come down to the bottom of the search here and type WinVer just like this and then click on this. And this will open it up and you'll get the message telling you you're running version 21 h2 and you can cross reference it with that uh, list that i just showed you there to see how far back you are now be very careful again if you're running a really old system you might want to download this upgrade yourself and you can do that by downloading it off the microsoft uh, site and you can use microsoft catalog to download whatever updates you want manually from their site here and install it if that's what you want to do so when you see this pop up, you're going to see this little cog here and this little arrow. This only comes up when you hover your mouse over this corner of the pop up. And this gives you access to the services. And this also gives you access to when you click on the arrow, it'll take you to the Windows updates. Now you can see the little orange round circle down on the bottom of the taskbar here. This means that it's ready to update. So be very careful if you click on stuff because it is going to restart and it will start to roll out that upgrade. And this is a feature upgrade. So basically it's like a new operating system being installed on your system. And uh, you will have to back up your data. Now Windows does do a 
good job at saving your data, but never rely on Windows to back up your data. That is your responsibility to back up all your data before you run out any sort of feature upgrade. So this will upgrade to your feature upgrades, but I do believe that they will start using this method uh, to roll out upgrades to Windows 11 near the end of life of Windows 10. Now, I know what you're saying. Microsoft can't do this. They can't force us to upgrade, and they promised they would never force people to upgrade. But check this one out. This is what happens when you reboot your system or start your system up. You're going to end up with this message on startup. Microsoft recommends Windows 11 for your device. Meet Windows 11. We think you'll love it. We'll download it and install it. This is a free upgrade. It's about four gigabytes and takes a few minutes after you reach your desktop. See what's inside. Get it. Schedule it. And then there's a decline upgrade right down there on the bottom. So what happens if you decline the upgrade? Well, if you decline the upgrade, some people may be thinking that they won't ever get the upgrade for free again. And that's just simply not true. You will always get the upgrade to Windows 11. It's a free upgrade that's offered to everyone who has Windows 10 and has a compatible computer, which is eligible for an upgrade to Windows 11. So you'll never have to pay for it. You just don't have to do it right now. You can do it whenever you feel like doing it instead of being tricked or forced into upgrading with these pop-ups. And this is just the start of it. It's just going to get worse and they're just going to constantly bombard you with these upgrades. And sometimes there's ones that are pretty tricky and you may need to block them to stop them from upgrading to Windows 11. You're going to wake up one morning, turn your computer on and you're going to end up with the installation of Windows 11. Who do you complain to? I mean, it's, they don't care. So you have to be a bit careful with what you're clicking on when you turn your PC on, especially if you're on Windows 10. More people are using Windows 10 than Windows 11. A lot of people have tried Windows 11 and gone back to Windows 10. So Microsoft have upped their campaign to try to lure people back with these pop-ups that you're going to see here. Still not convinced? Check this one out. We recommend Windows 11 for your device. Meet Windows 11. We think you'll love it. We'll download and install it for free and upgrade. You can see the same process here. They're trying to lure you into upgrading to Windows 11 and get rid of your Windows 10 operating system to say that it's running out of life cycle. And yet you've still got three years on it and they could extend that. More people are using Windows 10 than Windows 11. So this is during the setup process, I think, or this is during uh, the boot up process. I think this one is definitely going to be when you're installing Windows 10, you may get this message popping up or something along those lines. So what happens when you click decline? If you click decline, you'll get this not sure about Windows 11. Moving to Windows 11 is seamless. It will download after you reach your desktop so you can keep using your device without interruptions. You'll get this message popping up and you now have to then click on skip for now in the bottom left hand corner or they still give you another option to click on get Windows 11. So it's a pretty dirty tactic. I mean, if you say no, you say no. You get in another option to try to tempt you into installing Windows 11. And another thing, having it in the Windows update section on a banner saying your computer is eligible for Windows 11, click here to install it, that's totally fine. But having pop-ups like these on your computer when you're turning your computer on for the first time or whether you're going through the setup process, you shouldn't be uh, sort of bombarded with pop-ups like these. If you want to block any sort of Windows feature updates, you can use the show and hide tool from Microsoft. You can basically just click on this and you can see here, show or hide, updates we need to do next is click on go next this will search and then it will detect problems and then you'll get the option to hide updates so you can see here hide updates and it will give you the option to hide updates on that list i'm already on the latest version on this windows operating system uh, but if you do see an option there'll be an option listed here that says 21H2 or it'd be 21H1 or whatever version that you're seeing on here. And all you need to do is put the tick in it. 
obviously this is not that type of update this is a, a cumulative update uh, so you would put the tick in it and then click next and it will stop that update from coming down if i do this it will stop this update from being downloaded on the system and that's how you can show and hide updates inside here and you can see uh, if you're having a problem with an update this is the quickest way uh, to stop updates from coming down now of course you can block updates inside the registry and you can also pause updates if you wish i'll quickly show you here there's a way of pausing your updates in the pause update section here and it will give you a period of time that you'll be able to pause your updates you can see friday july 8th 2022 so you can go all the way there and it will basically pause your updates. Now, again, there is a registry one and also a group policy one. I'll make a separate video uh, for those particular settings. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. So be careful out there, guys, on what you click on because you could end up waking up or reboot into a fresh new install of Windows 11. And you don't want to do that if you don't want to upgrade. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you again in the next video. Bye for now.